Hi and welcome to the next. Today we have, as I showed you in the last video, a Hackintosh build and I'm really excited to walk you through this build. It was fun, fun, fun project. I spent a couple of days in it slowly and steadily, but it was absolutely amazing to get what we got towards the end of it. We have Mac OS Catalina running as a Hackintosh operating system onto the hardware that we sourced locally and it was very easy to do so. So let's go ahead and talk about this build today. When you start off with the Hackintosh build, you always have to make sure that you are sourcing the compatible parts with the Hackintosh build or Hackintosh operating system. Now there are a lot of guides throughout the internet which will tell you this particular hardware is compatible and that particular hardware is compatible. However, it drills down to an Intel platform wherein you know how to tweak the BIOS to make sure the initial boot is done properly for the installation of the operating system. So in this case, we chose a Z270 platform. We chose an Intel 7700K as a processor, uh, fairly compatible with the existing generation of Hackintosh which is running. And of course, an AMD, uh, or actually not one AMD, but two AMD cards. In this case, Radeon RX 580 that we chose for this particular build. So for the build itself, we chose this Thermaltake V21Ks. Um, the reason that we wanted to go for a Thermaltake case, or particularly this one, was we wanted the system to be very, very silent. And when we talk about silent system, we need to make sure that it has enough airflow so even with a silent and a low RPM fan, you are able to move a lot of air through the cabinet or through the case itself. This being a case which is actually open from four sides, one on the front, two on the sides and at the bottom, it's very aerated case altogether. So we are only using three fans in it. One is at the back, which is a 140 silent fan from Cooler Master and two of the fans of the NZXT low RPM, low noise fans which we are putting on the radiator for uh, cooling the processor. You can barely hear them. Even now I cannot actually hear them while this case is sitting next to me and has been powered on. So for the power supply we chose an Antec 1300 watt platinum power supply. Not that we are going to use all that 1300 watt of power uh, in this computer, but then we wanted to make sure that the fan of the power supply rarely spin so it becomes as, as silent of an experience as you can possibly get. Um, on top of that, uh, everything else from pumps of the radiator to the fans and even the spinning fans of uh, RX 580 with provided a heavy cooling that it already has, everything is super silent in this case. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build process and we'll be right back. So now you can see that we are able to get the i7-7700K identified in the computer. At the same time, we are also able to get both the RX 580 uh, identified in the computer. So 
here there is no compatibility issue that we face there is no uh, the mic is working the headphones are working the sound card is absolutely functional so there is nothing which is uh, lagging in this case or nothing which is not compatible uh, with the operating system itself until today we have been using uh, mac os on a vmware uh, virtual machine but now it was a different experience altogether when you are actually putting everything on uh, physical hardware and see it run so do hit like if you like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next thank you